Hi, this is the Meta Man, and I'm excited to introduce you to Nate Speglich, and he is an expert in NFTs. He's actually an expert in all things crypto, but this is focusing on NFTs, and I know the questions I'm going to ask him, and I know the shocking wisdom that you're going to get from this. You are going to be blown away by how much you're going to learn about NFTs and how much they are going to take over your life. I want to talk to you about NFTs. Now, NFTs are just overpixelated JPEGs. And I'm telling you, an overpixelated JPEG is worthless. Even a JPEG is worthless. Why would an overpixelated JPEG sell for $64 million? What is it? It doesn't make any sense. Tell me. So uh, it can be the author that created it and it brings value uh, to it. And it can be some famous superstar. Uh, like celebrity in kind of a movie uh, that started to issue that uh, NFT. For example, he wishes 10 NFTs that, uh, and they become extremely worth, uh, worth a lot. And if you own that NFT, you can in the future have a launch with him and that brings uh, the value to the NFTs. Hmm. So... I understand that an NFT is something like a digital label or a digital handle that proves that you own it. It's something that connects to the thing and confirms that you own it. So like if I said this, um, this iPhone was once used by Ringo Starr, people say, oh, wow, I'll pay you more than $1,000 for that if Ringo Starr owned it. He's a Beatle but I can't prove it. But with an NFT, I can somehow attach an NFT to a purse or to an iPhone or to a piece of clothing and saying that uh, Bruce Springsteen wore that, that uh, shirt and that would make it value and that would confirm that that's the only shirt that had that particular characteristic. But how does an NFT attach to a physical thing? So first, you said that uh, everything can be tracked, uh, how the NFT uh, was used in the past. And this is because of blockchain technology, because it stores all the transactions, all the owners of the token that have it. Yeah. So, for example, every um, iPhone has a serial number and that serial number, it, you can treat it like NFT. So, uh, for example, that your serial number it's unique only to your phone. Right. And for example, it's in the same in the crypto. Uh, NFTs are unique uh, values or unique um, numbers for some item and they are connected. So for example, if I have I this iPhone here, uh, for example, I can look on the blockchain and it says that uh, this iPhone was produced on that day and um, who was the owner of it and everything goes. Uh huh. Now, there is a gigantic future that I've heard for NFTs, which is really startling. An NFT can just be a picture, an over pixelated picture of some ape's face, but it has some real value. For example, if I wanted to buy a piece of real estate, and I've bought many, many pieces of real estate, I need a lawyer, the seller needs a lawyer. It takes like a month or two months to do the transaction. It costs both the buyer and seller about $1,000 each. So it takes a long time and it's expensive. But if an NFT were attached to that piece of land, then I could just send that NFT within a second to somebody and they could send me the value that I wanted. Maybe it was... Um, say $400,000, which in today's money would be 10 Bitcoins because a Bitcoin is about $40,000. So you would send me 10 Bitcoins and I would send you an NFT. The whole transaction would take seconds, would cost $10 maybe of transfer fees and wouldn't take any time, wouldn't need any lawyers. And not just for real estate, but also for every stock, every single stock in the stock market could be tokenized. So instead of buying say 100 shares of Tesla on the stock market through a stockbroker, I could just have an NFT token that is equivalent to 100 shares of Tesla. And I could just send you through the blockchain 
the the token, the NFT that confirms that I own it and the whole thing will be done in seconds without a stockbroker and without huge fees. Is if that's true, it's going to be gigantic. It's going to topple and bankrupt all real estate brokers, all realtors, all stockbrokers. I mean, it's it's gigantic. So tell me what's wrong or right with what I just said. Sure, you're completely right. And wow. Yes, and these NFTs in crypto will uh, put everything on the head that you already know. So it turn everything around and all the industry, how it uh, currently uh, works, it will need to change. Uh, but when we adopt uh, the blockchain technology and NFTs and everything else in our real estate and other things, it will make our lives easier. Wow. Can you tell me something else extraordinary about NFTs that I don't know about? Yes. Uh, so NFTs can be also used in, for example, in contracts. Uh, if you do some contract with uh, another company, for example, if you write a book and you want to say a contract, uh, if I sell 1 million copies, I'll get, uh, for example, this amount of money, and this can be written on the blockchain. And when this happens, uh, the blockchain will automatically uh, do this uh, transaction for you because it's written on the blockchain. And this is behind these technologies, smart contracts uh, that work. Um, so when one uh, thing is satisfied, it automatically triggers uh, everything and does uh, the work you wanted. So Nate, when will this happen? Because I'm having a lot of trouble believing that all real estate lawyers, all realtors, and all stockbrokers are suddenly going to be bankrupt. When will this happen? Is it like next month or next year? What is it? It will probably take a decade uh, to implement this uh, type of things. Uh, it's the same like in year 2000 when the internet was uh, in the beginning. And um, the humanity needed uh, some time uh, to develop uh, a new things uh, and how can the internet be used and the same will ha happen here in crypto. Ah, you're too young to remember, but in the year 2000, the big complaint was or the big worry or the big resistance to adopting the internet technology was people said, oh, I'm not going to give my credit card to an internet. But now everybody buys on Amazon everybody buys online everybody transfers money from their bank using e-transfer and they don't think of it they don't have that worry any longer because they've accepted it but it did take a decade or two to have that acceptance to have the human heart actually embrace the internet wow wow yeah. thank you thank you thank you nates thank you so much you gave us so much wisdom on nfts thank you thank you thank you thank you raymond for inviting me on the interview.